Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The team of the season content keeps rolling, and we're learning valuable lessons about certain times when EA drop certain SBCs on this game, especially with yesterday's hero player pick. I want to talk about that, and of course, look forward to this week. Today, the beginning of this week, being the day where we get upgrade packs, and a lot of us are going to begin the chase to try to pack team of the seasons from Eredivisie and from the Community Tots team, because with the 81 plus player picks that we know are coming today, there's going to be a lot of team of the seasons up for the pack. And of course, we had a daily player SBC yesterday. I guess it's not daily player SBCs, but we had a player SBC yesterday. Are we going to get that big ticket SBC player today on Monday with the upgrade packs for us to craft? We're going to take a look at the potential for that Allen St. Maximin SBC that is, of course, leaked. That would be absolutely insane and how that would affect the market because it's possible. May not be today, but that will be a big market and game changing SBC. So there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's do a little content overview. We had a W player SBC yesterday with Luke DeYoung. Four-star skill move boost. He already had the five-star weak foot. This card, honestly, when I look at it, I have Van Basten Trophy Titan. It reminds me of that card. 99 attack positioning, 99 shot power, incredible shooting stats, incredible heading, strength, big physical type striker, and it just fits into maybe cards you're trying out right now. If you're trying out any of the Air Divisie Tots cards, this card coming in, I believe Flippin says it's about 75k for a 91 rated card, which definitely is above the fodder price because 91s are down bad from where they used to be, but that's the most usable Luke De Jong cards, the best Air Divisie striker that we have in this game, and prices are kind of showing the effect of that. It's crazy to me that a 75,000 coin striker SBC is impacting the most expensive card in this TOTS side. Javi Simons was 700,000 coins yesterday. He is 790k right now at this time, literally because of this 75,000 coin SBC. Now, you could also argue that part of the reason this card went up so much is because he was too low to begin with. He was 690 yesterday at content. This SBC came out. He went all the way back up to 822,000 coins. So a huge rise there on Javi Simons. And just if you take a look at the rest of the Air Divisie cards, Bergwijn is going up. the trending upwards in price. Gertruda trending upwards in price. Tadic a little bit. You can tell that people are trying out this card and linking them together in teams. Another thing that shows that there's a lot of demand for these Dutch players right now, check your clubs. And if you invested in this last week, we talked about it in that specific uh, investing video, Dutch managers right now are selling for very high prices. Looks like around 3,000 coins. These were 4,000 coins yesterday um, when this SBC first dropped. Watch these card prices. If you pack one, make sure you go and list it up. 3.5K for all Dutch managers on this game. These guys were about 600 coins on the weekend. They absolutely exploded because of that SBC that is, that is very cheap. A lot of people are doing it and they need those extra links, right? Other thing I think that could actually make, uh, you know, the demand for the Air Divisie cards, especially today on this game, a little bit extra is there's a cup, right? There's the Air Divisie Tots cup, and it says in here that you have to use Air Divisie players, but actually you don't have to. It says here, right here, a full squad of Air Divisie players, but if you use any one league team in the Tots one league cup, you can get the objectives done. So unless that's been fixed without me knowing, uh, you don't technically have to use Air Divisie players, but since it says that there, I'm sure there are a lot of people that have been doing that and that don't know otherwise. That could be another reason why some of those Airdivisi Tots cards are going up. Now, do I think this is the time to buy a lot of team in the season? We're going to talk about that a little bit later in today's video because a lot of the Tots prices just kind of keep... Uh, especially after yesterday's content, they, they went low, but now they're kind of moving back up. Is this a buy time? Did we see the lowest point or is there more lower points to come this week? We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Now, to cover the rest of yesterday's content, there were two more really interesting SBCs. The first one is this Ch Tots Challenge 2, right? It's for XP. We have to get it done. If you haven't opened this pack already, I would hold. It's an eight Premier League players pack. It's tradable. This could be a really valuable pack to potentially get you something if you get really lucky this weekend with Premier League team of the season being out. So if you have not opened this pack yet or done the SBC, I would tell you to hold this pack for this upcoming week. Might give you a, a, a chance of packing the team of the season card and that being a tradable team of the season card as well from Premier League Tots. So just maybe hold on to this one. But of course, that's one that everybody is doing to get this XP done to be moving up in the Tots season swaps. Now, the other 
SBC that went live yesterday is the biggest one. I already did it, and I got an absolute L from the player pick. This is the SBC that we are taking note of. Basically, kind of the proponent of today's video is when EA released a cheap SBC that is a gamble pack like this one. We've seen it now a couple of times this year, and this is something that's kind of been a thing in FIFA's of old, but this is specifically something to take note of, especially when it comes to hero and icon player picks or upgrade packs. Whenever they release a really cheap one, like they did yesterday, 119,000 coins for an 88 plus World Cup fantasy foot or a Titans hero player pick, whenever an SBC like this is really cheap and easy to do, the pack weight seems to be awful and we saw this a couple weeks ago with the other player picks for the heroes that were out the pack weight didn't seem very good but guys in my opinion these seem worse because literally every single one of these that we opened yesterday in the stream looked like this it was like one world cup maybe one of the fodder fantasy uh, heroes and then like Yunberg and donovan i'm telling you guys i saw so many Yunberg donovans and who i got from my player pick Ole's from that SBC yesterday, you just kind of have to take that into consideration. I'm not telling you to, to not do the player pick if you don't want to. It is really cheap, 119K. The potential that you get something really cool is definitely there, but you just have to be careful, right? And not expect anything too big. Even, even if you look at the front page of Footman, look at the most popular cards that are up here. Joe Cole, I think he was packed a lot yesterday, which for 120,000 coin SBC, if that's a really common card being packed, it makes sense. Donovan, 30,000 coins. Ole, 39K. Yunberg, right? Yes, I'm sure some people are packing, like we packed a couple World Cup uh, Alloway runs yesterday. We packed a couple Dudex. Uh, but the fact that some of the really low tier cards from even the most recent Titans heroes were just the most common cards to pack in this SBC. It was very unfortunate. So W value, but that comes with an L weight, right? And that's the correlation I want you guys to see here is, you know, we see this pretty often where they drop a really good and enticing upgrade pack or a gamble SBC, but then the pack weight's like terrible. And I know there's going to be guys in the comments are like, Nate, I packed Lucio, Nate, I packed Yaya, like sick, man. You got even more lucky than you normally would because these packs weight just they just seem to be terrible. So just kind of keep that in mind for the future when we get more SBCs like this, when it's super cheap. There's probably a reason that it's super cheap. But nonetheless, there's excitement for it because of the price. Take a look at 85. These guys have been on a roller coaster. 11,000 coins for Sule right now. And this is making me almost want to buy this guy, man, because all 85s were 15 to 16K, 14 to 15K yesterday. He went to 16,000 coins with the release of this player pick. Since there was an 83 squad inside of it, or it was an 85 squad, um, and there maybe was an 85 requirement or something in that 83. I don't quite remember. Um, but 85s and 86s went bananas. I actually like 86s right now. It's a little bit of a better investment still. They were 12 to 13,000 coins. They spiked to 17K as the 85s rose as well and uh hey here we are back down at 12 to 13,000 coins with more SBCs ahead of us this week more upgrade packs that are going to be crafted and fodder are going to be put into people's clubs so that they maybe need to buy some more fodder to go and complete other SBCs that are live uh, and I think that's why we're going to get more player SBCs and stuff like that throughout this week we'll talk about that a little bit more in the video but fodder definitely jumped up 85s and 86s yesterday had the biggest bounce. 84s are about 3,000 coins right now. They are up, but they're not up that much, right? They're only up a couple of hundred coins per card. So I still like the 84s as an investment if you can get them. Um, probably around like the 2.8, 2.9K range, anything under 3K. But the 85s and the 86s, if you want to send it on some fodder for this week, that's probably where I would send it once again. And I still think 83s are a shout at uh, 900 coins for those potential guaranteed TOTS packs that we probably won't see today. We could see a guaranteed TOTS upgrade today for the Air Divisie or the community, but uh, I think that may not be until tomorrow on Tuesday where we'll see the Air Divisie TOTS. So we'll talk about that more in the future if it does not drop today on this game. But I wanted to speak about that hero player pick because yes, it is cheap, but man, the pack weight was just absolutely woeful on that. Now with the market yesterday, how were things moving, right? We had that hero 
player pick. We had, of course, the, the Dutch player cards going up in price. I sold this Javi Simons uh, early in the morning yesterday after trying him out. I sold some commands on last night's video. We were buying him at like 505 to 520. 515, I think, is the most I paid for. And he went back up to 570. A lot of Tots cards yesterday were really low at content. And then after content, they kind of started to go up. I'm looking at Kingsley Coman again right now. 520,000 coins. He was like 570k a couple hours after content. Guys, there's just so much gameplay demand right now. It is incredible to trade with these fluctuations if you time it correctly. It's not necessarily easy. But it's incredible if you've timed the fluctuations correct. In fact, just about 20, 30 minutes ago, um, I picked up Javi Simons at about 740,000 coins and 729,000 coins on a couple of snipes when he was 750 because he was 822. I think even though today is not a day where Weekend League rewards are given out because Weekend League is ending, right? Weekend League still goes on after today, goes until Wednesday morning. I think you're going to see the market still do okay today unless there's leaks about a big upcoming SBC. If we do get a leak for like Alan St. Maximin, which we'll talk about more in this video, the market is, is pretty healthy. A lot of cars rebounded back yesterday you look at guys like Taram who around the content time was around 300k he bounced right back up to about 320 330 where he is now I do not think and I'm going to put this out there and we'll look and follow these prices throughout the rest of the week I do not think that these tots cards are at their lowest point I believe there will be prices dropping on these cards as we head throughout the week so I don't think this is like something where you have to go and look into these cards to buy them right now if there's something that you want for your team yes Bernardo Silva was um, about 940,000 coins yesterday 950 now he's upwards of around a million so you know he is up in value but I don't think you missed the boat if you feel like man Nate some of these cards besides Gabriel Jesus most of the in the community tots team is up from where it has been but I don't think you missed the boat wow 2.1 flat there on Jesus that's the lowest that I've seen him still very very expensive for this card so I think there'll be lower prices as we head into community out of community and into Premier League tots I know this is the first week of team of the season and these cards are like man Nate I really want to try Ake for my team or something like that I'm not going to tell you that you can't try somebody for your team I'm just going to tell you not to hold on to that card for a long time speaking of Ake we talked about him in yesterday's video around 180 190,000 coins he was around there at the content drop but look at him now 220 to 215 starting to rise as people invest and as the supply it's really not just the investors right it's the supply ending from that five gold rare Dutch pack that was released on Saturday People have opened that SBC. They're using that card in their weekend league teams. And of course, the new freshly packed ones are not coming onto the market at such a rapid rate. And you see his price kind of starting to just naturally go up because of the mass listings slowing down. So that's kind of, I mean, the out of packs market. If you guys are like Nate, I don't want to mess with stuff in packs. Out of packs is my jam. Everything that is out of packs is, is doing amazing, right? You saw me um, in yesterday's video, or, or I think I mentioned it today on the stream. I picked up a Musiala last night on bid for $4.99. 95, sold it for 560 could have sold it for more um, I picked up a Park Ji Sung with the hero player pick dropping yesterday there was some panic heading into content picked one of these up at 485 sold it at 537 trading with the out of packs cards is definitely where the big money is right now as well so don't sleep on some of that I would absolutely recommend trading with out of packs cards instead of in packs because there's better fluctuations right there on this market still and I think the market will be pretty healthy today now speaking of today Let's talk more about the potential big time SBC content for today. Now, one thing that is confirmed, we're going to start off with the 100% confirmed stuff. That is today on the 1st of May. Welcome to a brand new month, by the way. We are going to be getting the 81 plus player pick times three. EA told us this on Thursday when they released this objective here in the season progress. We know the player pick that we're getting today. Now, what is this going to require? The last time that we had this player pick, which was not too long ago, during Trophy Titans, it required gold commons, 10 of them. 10 gold commons. Right now, I believe gold commons are like 500 coins. If I were you, I would get to stocking up on these for the club because if they re-release the SBC with the exact same requirements, gold commons are going to go up because people will be hitting player picks like crazy during this week of team of the season trying to pack TOTS cards. Now, also, could EA change up the requirements? 
Absolutely, they could. So with that in mind, maybe stock up on a couple of gold rares, but the commons just seem to move more, and EA just seem to love to require commons. Now, we don't have a provisions pack. The last time that I checked, we do not have a provisions pack in the store, which is usually a telltale sign of EA going to be putting a uh, player pick out that's going to require the commons unless they added it late yesterday i don't see it they could drop it today who knows um but i don't see that in the store at the moment i've kind of saved all the small packs that i got over the last day or so from like qualifying rewards and stuff like that i'm going to open all those today as we start crafting trying to pack tots cards this is where the real fun begins we get the upgrade packs but stock your club with non-rares for sure and maybe a couple of rares as well just so that you're safe in case they change the requirements now the big sbc I mean, guys, the Alan St. Maximin, the Matoma, those are two really big player SBC names that we have leaked still that could be dropping today, could be dropping through on later this week. It's not a guarantee that we would get an Alan St. Maximin SBC, but there's so much hype building around this SBC because the leak is there. And again, one of the cards that we had leaked was that De Young, and we see the De Young in the game, and wow, you know, it's a great SBC. Will EA go back-to-back -back days releasing insane player SBCs? Because if they do release an ASM SBC, think about it. You've got the Jolinton that is in objectives right now. You have the ESOC card that is so very hyped. You've got Bruno Guimaraes that was in foot birthday. You've got a lot of hype around Newcastle in IRL and in FIFA. This could be a really, really big SBC for this game because A, Alan St. Maximin is known as just a FIFA meta card. He's got the five-star skills in the Winter Wild. I think his gold card's got the five-star skills and the four-star weak foot. Just imagine like a plus two, probably at least a plus two. Hopefully it's 90 or 91 rated for ASM. It would not be cheap, but it would be so hype. I'm guessing that EA would make this somewhere around 500,000 coins because this Winter Wild card version is like 270, 280. Um, and if that SBC were to drop, he'd probably be in that range. But this would be the type of SBC see that you know i'm trying to be careful even trying to flip kingsley coman because if this sbc were to come today kingsley coman would definitely be dropping in price because of it now i'm not sitting here saying that i believe the alan st maximin is today all i'm saying is he was a part of the list that was leaked as a tots sbc or as a tots moments card and de Jong was on that list all the other players like arajo that we've seen as tots moments were on that list as well so an alan st maximin would just be massive right and we had an air divisie sbc yesterday we're getting the upgrade packs today if we only got upgrade packs today i think people would be very disappointed um, unless that is what ea wants and they want us to just do upgrade packs and focus on what is out and the cup and stuff like that until we get later on in the week. Maybe they're just waiting a little bit further down the line for that. But I think today could be a day where they drop Alan St. Maxman, and it would be crazy. Definitely your left wings, if he doesn't get a position change, left wings in the Premier League would take a hit. You know, that's why I would be careful with guys like the Martinelli, the Coman that I mentioned being a French left wing, left mid player. Um, I think Martial's uh, road to the final card can play on the left side as well. Mudrik would be one who I'd be interested in. You know, these types of players would drop off if the value is good. So I know we're talking a lot about theoreticals right now, but I'm just saying if an Alan St. Maximin drops, it's going to be madness. Even if the card's not that great of value, people are going to want to craft that SBC. Just like Araujo, it is a big name FIFA player that would be very hype in FIFA and is hype IRL because of the name. So that's kind of the madness with the Alan St. Maximin. It's not a guarantee. I just feel like it might be coming soon because everything with those leaks have been matching up. I would feel like it would have a similar amount of hype to the Araujo, to a full birthday in Cuckoo and Conte. It would have so much hype. There'd be a lot of people interested in that. So just keep an eye out for that because that would impact a lot of the market. And of course, if it does happen today, we'll be live on stream watching it all unfold. Now, also today, you maybe forgot about this because this stuff flies under the radar, but we got Tots voting back up on deck. And today it's La Liga Today on the website, you're going to be able to vote for La Liga Santander. The vote here will be opening today. Now, we already know the nominees. It's actually tweeted out. Foot Sheriff retweeted the tweet from his graphic designer, Lean Design. Uh, we've got basically all the big names in here. And guys, I think I remember, was it two years ago? Was it FIFA 21 where La Liga team of the season was absolutely stacked? And the prices were insane. And the upgrades were insane. This looks like it could be a really good team of the season uh, in the upcoming weeks. You've got Oblak, Courtois, Ter Stegen, of course. you got all the defenders in here. The only couple that are missing, you don't have 
Alaba and you don't have Ferland Mendy, but um, you've got Militao, you've got Koundé. Uh, you know, you, you, you are missing a couple defenders in here, right? The defense looks just a slight bit weak, but we already have Araujo. You know, I wish, I think a lot of people would have wished Araujo would be in actual La Liga team this season voting, could have got a higher rated card potentially. But I feel like Militao and Koundé are going to, you know, wipe this up. Maybe Molina wins. Um, I don't know who's going to win on the left side, maybe Gaia or, or Jimenez. We'll have to see. But the defense is the only thing that's lacking a little bit for me. Now, when you go to the midfield for La Liga, you've got Kamavinga, Gavi, Pedri, Cruz, Valverde, De Jong, Modric. Uh, so many amazing players in that midfield. Hopefully, they release a couple of those on the bench as well, La Liga team this season. And then you go to the attackers. You've got all of them. Rafinha, Griezmann, Dembele, Vinny, Lewandowski, Benzema. You've got a lot of the big names in there. Of course, not everybody. So if there's somebody in here that you see is not in, like uh, maybe the Papu Gomez or, or Frankie de Jong, I think. Oh, yeah, no, he's in the vote too. De Jong is even in the vote, right? So there's not very many people that are missing from this vote. I don't think the market's going to be impacted too much by this vote being dropped today, uh, but that is going to be released. So watch out there for that market but really today we also kind of start to set our sights towards the middle to the end of the week which should potentially bring us some of the beginning rumors and maybe some of the hype building for Premier League team of the season, which the market is in very good shape right now. Do I believe there could be some more movement later on this week because of leaks? I do. So just be careful out there on the market because with a big SBC like ASM, yes, market prices could move or with the league starting for Premier League team of the season, market prices could move uh, with that being released as well. Last thing I'll say is keep a close eye on your out of packs cards from the Premier League because with Premier League tots upcoming and we maybe start to get the leaks and stuff like that, you're going to start to see people investing in the Premier League out of pack special cards. Now, I know a lot of them are up. I know a lot of them are up big, right? You look at players like the Darwin Nunez. You look at players like, um, I don't know, like Anthony Foot Birthday. So I'm, I'm looking at these Foot Birthday cards off the top of my mind, right? Anthony's like 600,000 coins. He was 400K at his lowest, right? This is really 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 up in price 600k for this card that might be a rarity spike um right now as well if i'm being honest but he's up big time in price some of those cards are maybe not up as much especially some center backs because of arajo um keep an eye on those keep an eye on those cards if there's any big sbc that causes some panic or if prices just dip in general i would definitely keep an eye on some of your most meta popular out of packs players from the premier league because uh, there could be some uh, really positive price swings coming their way in the next couple of days once we start to get the rumors and leaks out about Premier League team of the season. So that's just kind of something to put on your radar. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it yesterday, but Alexis Sanchez is going to get the upgrade. We actually called it spot on in the stream yesterday. Uh, so they were down 1-0. He dropped down to about 460. He went all the way back to like 5, I think 530 or something like that uh, after they came back and won the game. He is going to go to a 94 rated card later on this week. He'll get the upgrade or get the plus one. Um, and he went all the way down after the game, though, to about, I think it was like 450, which is exactly the price that we kind of anticipated and, and we predicted on stream. And now he's kind of rebounded back up. So if you were watching that yesterday, he spiked before the game, went back down as they were losing found about 450,000 coins and is now back up to about 500k. So watch out for this card. I think a lot of people are going to see this as an investment because the TOTS is 1.2 mil. This one's going to be a 93, only one rating below, or below that. And it's like, wow, really? He's going to be 700k less. That still seems to be too big of a gap. I think people are going to invest in the Sanchez card as long as content is not super crazy. He could go up. So I would sell in the hype before he gets the upgrade there on that card. There's still people that have invested in this Alexis Sanchez. It's a live card. I will tell you this, when live cards, always this happens, when live cards reach their final form or whenever they are done upgrading, which will be on this week after he goes to a 94, they always drop off at least a little bit as investors take the opportunity to sell because that card's reached its final form. So that's kind of just some final parting words on the Alexis Sanchez there. But I'm very, very hyped for today on Monday because it's upgrade pack season inside the team of the season. I'm going to stock my club with some golds. Hopefully I can win some of these at like 350 or 400, make my life a little bit easier. And we're going to build a bunch of player picks today on stream. So if you're excited for today's content, drop a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment down below. And of course, subscribe if you're new. See you guys at Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the account. I'll catch you guys there. Peace out.